Hi everyone, let's make these prawn moons. You will need 400 grams of prawns which have been cleaned and shelled. Place in a food processor and blitz until it forms tiny pieces. Add 3 tablespoons of oil to a non-stick pot. Add half a heap cup of finely chopped onions and give it a mix and fry until just soft. Do not brown. Add in your processed prawns and just mix it through into the onions. Now add in sliced green chilies to taste and one heap tablespoon of garlic paste. You want to mix this until your prawns just begin to start turning pink. Then add in half a teaspoon of lemon pepper, half a teaspoon coriander powder and half a teaspoon of cumin powder. One teaspoon of red chili flakes and salt to taste. Mix through and cook until your prawn mixture is dry. Now add in half a cup of finely chopped green peppers and mix in well. Add 1 tablespoon of plain flour, mix through and then add in 1 and a quarter cup of fresh cream. You can use pouring cream as well. Mix well and cook until it thickens. I have now added another 1 teaspoon of flour and I'm just mixing this through. This just makes it a bit more saucy. This is what your mixture should look like. Just remember that it does thicken as it cools down. Empty out into a bowl and allow to cool completely. Once your mixture has cooled down, add 2 tablespoons of finely chopped coriander leaves and just give it a good mix. Let's begin making the dough. To a large non-stick pan, add 1.5 cups of water. As it comes to a simmer, Add one and a half tablespoon of soft ghee or butter. Now add in a quarter teaspoon of salt. You want to mix this through. Now add in one and a half cup of plain flour. Keep your heat high and you want to mix this through until it just forms a lump. As your mixture just forms a lump, you want to switch your heat off now. Empty out the mixture on your work surface. You won't need to add extra flour for kneading. While the mixture is hot enough to handle, start kneading to form a smooth dough. This is what your dough will look like, soft but not sticky. Divide the dough into four portions. You now want to take each portion and roll it three millimeters thick. Cut into round circles. Here I'm using a round cutter which is three and a half inches in diameter.
For the rest of the remaining dough, just roll out 3 mm thick and cut with your round cutter. Do this until all the dough is utilized. Take each circle and fill with your prawn filling. I'm just using about 1 teaspoon. Fold in half and press firmly to form a half circle. Coat each in egg wash and bread crumbs. These are now freezer suitable. Defrost fully before frying or you can proceed to fry right away. Add oil to a frying pan or a wok. Fry your moons on a medium heat until golden brown. Drain on a kitchen paper. Serve with your favorite sauce while hot and crispy.